Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review video for you all and it's a review on this new me titanium three-in-one curling wand and I have seen so many beauty gurus talk about this curling wand and so many people rave about it and I have been super curious about this wand. I was actually gonna put this on my Christmas wish list this year but I actually didn't have to because new me contacted me about a month ago and asked me if I wanted to do a review on their titanium 3-in-1 curling wand and I was ecstatic I was like yes I would love to do a review on this because I have been so curious about it with my hair my hair is pin straight I have the hardest time holding curl in my hair but I'm telling you with this new me wand it will last for several days and that is really saying a lot for my hair like my mom was super impressed with how curly my hair stayed throughout the day with this curly one so if you have stick straight pin straight hair that will not hold curl I highly recommend that wand I give that thing a five star rating like five star plus rating I I just think it's an amazing curling wand it just lasts and it just gives bouncy just beautiful curls um, so yeah, I'm in love with this curling wand. You do get three barrels with the wand and it comes with, I already have this wand on, on the, um, the handle because I used this one today to curl and here in a second I will do like a demo and show you guys how I go about curling my hair with the wand. But this is the 19 millimeter wand, which is the smallest wand that comes in the set. It also comes with a 25 millimeter wand and it comes with a 32 millimeter wand. It is super easy to interchange these wands. It just has a button down here and you press that button to take the wand off and then you just line it up with the little holes in here which I'll show you in a second in the demo. Now I will say that the other pros about this curling wand is it is very sleek and easy to travel with. It has a really nice digital display where you can control the temperatures, so I do like that about it. It has an on and off switch. I would say the one downside about this curling wand, I would say it's probably the only con about it, the only thing I don't like. And, well, I guess maybe there's two things. First would be the way that the buttons are placed right here. Whenever I'm curling my hair, every once in a while I might accidentally hit one of the buttons and I've accidentally turned it off before while I've been curling my hair. So I wish that they had a setting on here where you could lock the buttons so that whenever you were using it, you wouldn't accidentally press them. The other thing is I wish that this thing was cordless. <laughs> I know that's like a crazy thing to wish for and I've never actually seen a curling wand that was cr cordless but I just think it would be a lot easier for travel if it was cordless um, but yeah. Uh, I would say that's my only two complaints which the cordless thing really isn't a complaint. It's more of just like a suggestion or maybe like an improvement. So yeah those are my pros and cons on it so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get into the tutorial and Numi did provide me with a coupon code if you guys are interested in this curling wand so I will put the coupon code here in the video and I'll also have it linked down in the description box so if you are interested in this cur curling wand definitely check that coupon code out and um, take advantage of it um, so yeah if you have any other questions about this product, leave them down in the comments for me, but I'm just going to go ahead and get into my demo with this curling wand. I'm just going to pick the wand that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use the 19 millimeter wand just because I really like the curls this one gives. It gives like really tight curls, and I don't feel like I've seen many tutorials done with this really small wand. So then what you want to do is it has, if you can see here, it has like this little hole here and you just have to match this up with that. So you just match it up and it just snaps right on. Really simple. You just press and hold the on button and then it will light up like that to show you that it's on and then it will show you the temperature increasing. For some reason mine shows Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. I don't know if they're all like that or not because on the box it says that it reaches um, 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's weird that on the box it says Fahrenheit but on the display it shows Celsius. 
So I don't know if any of you all have this curling wand, let me know if there's a way that you can change it to Fahrenheit or if it's just always stuck on Celsius. It usually goes to, I think, 180 degrees Celsius, or you can increase it to 200 degrees Celsius. And it takes no time for this thing to heat up. It heats up really fast, especially the small barrel. Um, if you wanted it to go to 200 degrees Celsius, you would just hit the little arrow up to go hotter. But I don't find that with my hair, I need it to go that high. Um, it gets super hot as it is. So then the next thing that I do whenever I curl my hair with this wand is I go ahead and put a heat protectant on my hair. And Numi did send this argon oil. It's a multi-purpose beauty oil. And I did talk about this oil in my essential or must have dry winter skin and hair products because this product is amazing for dry hair and dry skin. It's also an amazing heat protectant. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of it into my hand here and I'm going to put this through the ends of my hair. So I just run this through the lengths of my hair. Now I will say the glove is a mess when curling your hair with this curling wand because it gets super, super hot. And a week or so ago, I was curling my hair with that wand and I had the glove on and then I was styling my hair and I noticed I had a piece that needed to be curled a little more. So I was like, well, I'll just touch it up real quick without the glove. And whenever I did that, it burnt me. Like you cannot believe. And I barely tapped that curling yarn to my hand. So please be very careful when you use this curling yarn because it gets super hot. So what I do, I go ahead and put the glove on my left hand and do it on whatever hand you feel most comfortable. I am right handed, but I find that it's easier for me to wrap the hair with my left hand. So I just put the glove and this glove comes with the wand. Then what I do is I just part my hair into two sections like this. Then I will start from the back and work my way to the front. And then what I do with the wand is I put it in the back, face it downward, and then I just take the hair and start wrapping it around the barrel like this. And then whenever I get to the end, I just hold the end on there. And I only hold it for about 10 seconds because it gets super hot and it doesn't need to be on there long. And then I just pull it off and I hold the curl in my hand for about 10 more seconds. And then once the curl gets cooled off, then I will let it go out of my hand. And as you can see, it makes such like pretty curls. Like, I don't know, I love this wand. It, the curls that it creates are just super pretty. So then I'm just gonna start with another section of hair in the back. And then usually what I do, once I kind of curl that piece, I push it to the back so it's out of the way. If you had super thick hair, you could, you know, part off the top layer and stick it up and then work from the bottom and then let the top layer down and do it that way. But my hair is not super thick, so it's just easier if I do it this way. So I just point the curling wand down and then I just start wrapping my hair around the wand like this. Then whenever I get to the end, I just hold it on. This is another reason why the glove comes in really handy because you can actually touch the wand without burning yourself. Um, hold it on there for about 10 seconds. And then I just pull it off and see that time I didn't I wasn't able to grab the curl very good um, so as you can see the curl wasn't as tight on that one because I wasn't able to hold it up um, so if you want your curls to be a little looser just let them drop right after you let it out of the curling wand but if you want the curls to be a little more tighter like that hold it up for a little bit or you could like alternate and do one tight curl one loose curl and it'll kind of give you different effects
Okay, so now that the curls have cooled down quite a bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of finger comb with my fingers. And I kind of finger comb like this, or sometimes I'll flip my head over. But like, as you can see, this wand, it creates like a ton of curls. Just to show you what it looks like from the back. And my hair is like super long, so it's hard to fit my whole head in frame. <laughs> Um, but this is what it looks like from the back side, which I haven't even looked at it from the back, so it could look like crap. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So I just think it creates the most beautiful romantic curls. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.